Google Webmaster Tools links to your site hello and welcome back again in this video session we're going to look at links to your site feature in Google Webmaster Tools account so when we press on links to our site Google then says okay you know what um, I'm going to show you um, this amount of data meaning I am aware of this many backlinks pointing back to your website now one thing to keep in mind Google is very secretive as far as the way it works okay so then you may say okay you know what um, Google showing this many backlinks but keep in mind that's probably not all the backlinks that it's showing you because for the past eight years that I've been looking at this I know for a fact that Google does not show me everything as far as backlink data is concerned okay so it also says okay these are your most linked content also um, you it says um, this is how your data is linked right so these are anchor text that means when Google becomes aware of the backlink pointing back to my website the text that's within the the hyperlink as in the hypertext it has these keywords within it okay so that's what this is showing us with all these three different options it has more option menu option okay? if I click on this it's gonna show me more links as in show me uh, the, the, all the links that it is aware of okay you can show different rows as in let me go to 500 rows to see all the links pointing back to my website okay so what I can do I can say okay you know what let me have a look at let's say stumble upon let me click on this then it's gonna give me more details as to how many links how many web pages and so on I can download the data as usual but I can press on the link once again then it's actually going to show me exactly where the links are coming from right so if I was to press on this it's gonna go ahead and fetch the page that has a link back to my website okay so that's the whole idea let me close this let me go back and let me look at this all domains let me go back and let me have a look at all this backlink data because if you're you know attending to backlink gathering um, campaigns then you're aware of where the backlinks are coming from but at times people may share your content and you actually have no control over that and also sometimes there are some funny websites who either scrape your content or try to give you a, a bad backlink right well um, links to your site information can actually show you that so therefore when you look at all this information you should be able to say okay you know what when I analyze all the backlinks and I end up seeing some websites linking to me but who are they you know are they doing like let's say Viagra type of things right so when you see that information then you need to take better action right so let's go back let's press on this because you know this has actually recently came up here so let me have a look at what this website is all about you know who are they you know is it like a bad neighborhood for example right so let me click on this let me go a little bit more in depth to see you know what are they linking to and it seems let me press on this it seems that it's an automated scraper that's pulling out my uh, blog posts thinking that's gonna um, that's going to help them well then I should be able to judge for myself uh, as to you know what is this person you know is this website is worth to get a backlink from right and in this particular instance I am more than happy for them to give me a backlink because I know for a fact they're just wasting their time 
although they are giving me a backlink which is actually helping me but as I've said sometimes you may come across bad neighborhoods in your um, you know backlinking data that Google Webmaster Tools is showing you right now if that's the case let, let's do a couple of things now what can you do when that happens this is what I do when I come across a website which I think you know they shouldn't be linking to me right so what you do you log into your hosting account go on the security go to IP deny manager and then you simply place that IP address there without the HTTP version right and you simply press add so basically you're blocking their IP pointing to your website now another option that you can do is you can by the use of .ht access file for Apache servers you can use this particular text file to get a hold of their IP address okay because when you add it through the the domain name you'll actually see their IP address show up here right you can also if you saw please surely find their IP address what is the IP and give that um, URL detail and so on so with bit of research you can find an IP address right so you can also use the HD access file to simply you know let's say I want to block this IP all I do is I put let me delete that let me save it so I show you okay this particular line of code will block that IP um, you know when they access my website right so this is what I do and then you simply upload that so therefore links to your website feature in Google Webmaster Tools can be used in many different ways right some of them you will be aware of and you'll actually thank the website owner to give a backlink to you but sometimes you may see a link that you think you know what I'm not really happy when I press on that link and I go check their website out and when I look at their website it looks like a bad neighborhood right but although you know they're giving a backlink to me I want to know why that is another thing that I do is I press Control U to look at the source code and I do Control F to find my website's details and as we can see somehow my details not here there could be many reasons for that but at this moment I may say to myself you know what I'll actually let this go for perhaps another month when Google does its round trip of internet it may then not show that information in links to your site feature okay so you can use this particular feature by analyzing your backlink information keeping in mind that Google never shows you 100% of the backlinks but then again it does a good job also you can look at the anchor text of links pointing back to your website as we can see in this particular example there's no way Google is going to penalize me for doing any off-site SEO because it's not against Google guidelines as we can see if I was to have you know anchor text just SEO trade secrets SEO trade secrets and so on too often then that doesn't look natural right so that will be like in Google's eyes it will be like me trying to manipulate search results so therefore I may get a manual action message and so on right so what I'm trying to tell you is backlinking you must diversify your anchor text pointing back to your website because that's just the natural way of internet I thank you very much for learning with me if you have not subscribed to rank your SEO services YouTube channel as of yet I encourage you to do so because I will be adding more useful videos for website owners like you and me
Thank you very much. Happy rankings.